Hello everyone! It finally came through version 1.2 of my app as you can see here. Make sure you download this version on your iPhone and it's full motion capture. It captures your face, it captures the pose. Very happy and excited about it. So make sure you go to my GitHub repository in order to download the Blender add-on part. I already did that here. If you open it, as you can see here, I already have the mocap JSON of me moving around and then jumping if you want to test that out. And then I have the add-on here. This is the test blend, which I kind of use for myself in order to uh, develop the add-on, but you're more than happy to play around with it, uh, especially if you want to do you know, play around with the face. And then here's just some of the test capture so I'm going to show you the app real quick. So once you download it, you'll go, you'll open the app. Up here, what I did was, in case if you don't want to constantly keep re-entering your email, you can fill it in here and then it'll just automatically put it in for your, every time you do it. it hopefully that makes sense. I might take this out, I might leave it in, not 100% sure, depends if I add more features and I need to um, practice my space, uh, you know, um, get better with my space. So as you can see here, I have proper lighting, uh, the headset works great, and I had no problems. So unfortunately you can't hear it, but I actually do a countdown before you start for both the pose and facial. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and you can see it with it blinking. If I go back here, yeah. So you see it blinking, and then when it turns full red, that means it's recording. And you hit stop to stop the recording. So I did that, and I emailed it to myself, and I got here. As you can see, the the message topic line is face data. I have all the data here, the blend shapes, adjacent, left eye, right eye. So this part is the same. You can look at the other tutorials that I did. So I won't go through this because, like I said, you can go through the latest, uh, my previous tutorial in order to know how to do that. Now what I'm going to go through is the body data. So as you can see here, I have a mocap JSON. So, go through here. Okay. So, the way it works is you set up the camera of where you're going to be. You hit record, it counts down. And then, when you hear, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then it'll start recording, and then you can do whatever you want. And then you have to manually stop it. So maybe I'll do some, I don't know, in the future, like voice recognition of, you know, if you yell stop, then for the motion capture, it'll actually stop. I'm not sure how much work that's going to be. But as you can see here, it's actually tracking me. So this is a full motion capture. And I use my room for computer vision. Because my room is horrible for tracking stuff in computer vision. I'm a computer science major. I only have two classes left and then I graduate. I seriously have no idea how it's tracking in my room. I've been trying to do, you know, full motion capture for years now. But, I mean, this is just insane. So, as you can see, I was able to squat, jump. Uh, I can do some basic rotation. And then, once you're done... Unfortunately, you have to go back and you have to email it to yourself. So that's how the app works. Please tell me if the app's not working or the add-on's not working. So we have the mocap JSON right here. And I'm going to go through on how to uh, install the add-on from scratch again, just in case if people are completely new to Blender. Um, just to make sure they're on the right track. So here, so let's open up this. And we have test cap folder. Go ahead, minus this. Okay. okay. 
So, drag. Oh, of course you can download. So blend shapes, replace, head, replace, left eye, replace, replace. Oh, I also have LinkedIn if you guys ever want to connect with me. Uh, I'm trying to build my uh, network and partly trying to do that through uh, this. Okay, so if I could just, oh yeah, let's see. All right, this is a test to see if... So you guys probably didn't hear, but it's like crystal clear. So it does work. So connecting your headphone to your iPhone to do the recording works beautifully. So I'll worry about that later. And then we have this. Replace. Okay, so we're good. So we got the test cap folder. I'm going to now open up Blender. Okay, edit, preferences, add-on, so install, do downloads. I'm doing this one because you know, that's what I'm using right now. And then iPhone capture this, install add-on. And unfortunately, so you have to search for it, my phone, motion capture and it looks like I already had it installed but uh, if you didn't have it already it's oh okay so, so sorry backtrack right so this let's say this is the one you just did you're going to want to uncheck it right remove it hit okay and then go through it again Now you see how that was different? That was because it wasn't already pre-installed. So you're going to have to do that in order to make sure you get the latest version. So I click on this and now it's happy. Now it is buggy, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not perfect. So I won't go be going through. Oh yeah, so you need to select the folder. So we go to downloads. Yep. Eh. Sorry, Denise, I know you're going to kill me. I had a friend who... Okay, Tesca, here we go. Yeah, so I, I'm just trying to get these videos out there to get feedback. And then eventually, you know, once the apps and add-ons stabilize, then I'll do a proper tutorial and like editing stuff out and, you know, make it really nice and pretty. But I, I apologize if these, you know... Are not clean take too long but I just want to get it out there so I get your guys's feedback and I can continuously making this better so as you can see here we're in the test cap folder has all the data we select that and I'm sure there's a better way but what I did was it points to the folder there's proper names for the different stuff and then with these it just you know selects based off the name so this right here for the face part, you can go back to my uh, tutorial before this one. I talked about it pretty thoroughly. Now there is one little bug. Oh, so sometimes you won't see this right here. You just need to select an object. I, I don't know why. Um, I'm sure there's something I did wrong. So I select an object and I'm going to hit create and I can just go and delete that and then if I go through here so this is a custom uh, shape for the bone so make sure you do not delete the sphere and can you see here I already have three little points so those are in Apple's motion capture those bones don't move at all so I just went ahead and manually put it in now you select that right and we hit apply. This might take a while. Yeah. So it's relatively fast. Um, and I'm sure, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, so that wasn't too bad. So as you can see here, it's pretty long. So I'm just gonna increase it.
There we go. Looks like. Okay. So just as a reference for you guys of like just how amazing this is, I'm going to bring up my other download. Ah, I just had it. I just, I literally just had it. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I squatted, right? And in 3D space, it was able to do the same. And I was, I jumped. Yeah. And it was able to do that. It was able to do the springs in my leg. I mean, th this is insane. It was able to do this in my room with poor lighting, horrible conditions. So if you really want clean, which, I mean, this is already insanely clean, then you need proper lighting, clean environment, um, with the floor having texture like this. So actually, you know, for motion capture, this is great because what happens is the, the computer can track these little squares and then get a sense of the 3D environment. So I'm just going to play this so you guys can just see it. So here, turn, walking around which I do the same thing. Then I think I might see squat again. I even did, you know, like I was driving. Yeah. And then I'm gonna be walking towards my phone in a sec. See? Oh yeah, walking back and forth. As you can see here, I'm sorry if I'm going too far into this. It's just, this is just, I made this. I still can't believe I made it, if that makes any sense. And now, as you can see, I'm walking towards the phone. It, so it was able to do that all in real time. Um, and I've been going, you know, in more depth in it. And... Essentially, I'm going to be working on this add-on for motion capture, and I'm going to be using the iPhone. Uh, I have the iPhone 11, but it will work for iPhone X and above. It does not work for iPad. I tried that. It does not work, unfortunately. So if you guys want to do motion capture, well, stay tuned to this app and buy an iPhone X or 11. Because this is insane. Like, I, I'm not even quite sure how else I would do this for this cheaply. Like, including, you know, buying the 200 uh, Kinetics. Because then you have to have the software behind that, and then also the compute power. But then, with this iPhone, it has the cameras, it has the software, actually has a custom chip. So that's part of the reason why it does not work for the previous iPhones not just because of three cameras, but there's a custom freaking chip in order to do this type of stuff. So that's the end. Sorry if this took too long. Hopefully you guys can start playing around. Uh, hopefully I'll do a better tutorial soon. Leave comments. Uh, someone just made a comment about, you know, they're having some bugs. So yeah, uh, give me your feedback. I, I want this to be an app that everyone uses in the Blender computer. So please um, help me make that happen.